Welcome back. My name is Carrie, and today I'm going to give you an exclusive first look at the newest prefab home in North America. I know what you're thinking. Here he goes again, talking head with a bunch of renderings and no clear timeline on when these things will be available. Not this time. This is a company that's been working behind the scenes, has already delivered a home, and is ready to go with more in 2024. These folks put the horse before the cart, quietly working behind the scenes, getting everything ready before making any big important announcements refreshing. To make things even more interesting, they're located in an area that gets many, many requests, and if all goes well, it'll lead to a couple extra clicks on the like button for the YouTube algorithm. The company I'm talking about is Minimax, with their line of prefab homes that are available now. Minimax was founded back in 2020. After a couple pivots, they ended up with what we're looking at here today, and I think they've got a very cool look. They're based on the east coast of the United States with their HQ located on Long Island and a showroom up in North Adams, Massachusetts, a small town a couple, two and a half hours out of Boston. Minimax was founded as an extension of an almost two decade long partnership in Archipelagos, a multidisciplinary architecture and interior design studio located in New York City. Apparently, Archipelagos is recognized as one of the most innovative practices in NYC with projects in the US, Europe, and Asia. There you go. They've got a line of prefab homes ranging in size from 120 square feet up to 1500 square feet and every one of their models was designed by their award-winning design team. I wonder what the award was. I was awarded Charlie Hustle at grade 6 basketball camp. Does that make me an award-winning YouTuber? Yes. Yeah, it does officially. Here's where things get interesting. Minimax isn't manufacturing the homes. They're working with a manufacturing partner to fabricate the homes in Europe. They design the homes but have them built by their manufacturing partner. Their website says we've partnered up with the reputable fabricator Stecco Group to make home ownership a reality for as many people as possible. They manufacture a prefabricated panelized kit of parts that is flat packed then shipped to your site and then they say the building system cuts traditional on-site construction time and labor costs by 50%. Impressive if true, we'll see. Minimax is taking a new approach in a couple different areas and another that needs to be mentioned is the availability of their kits. It looks like they're going to be offering three different series at one time and they're limited to editions of 10. At first I thought they were limiting to 10 of each series per year but if the 10 sell out they would introduce a different edition of 10 and the previous would no longer be available. For example right now they're offering the L400 in their designer series and the half in their limited series. More on those in a second. If you want to get your mitts on one of these things, they've broken the process down into five steps. Six if you include step zero, which I'm going to because it's on there. Step zero is begin with our Minimax manual. There's something you don't see every day. They have a full on manual to help buyers through the purchase building process. I'm could be handy. Step one is process your order. In this step, you make material selections and lay down a 40% deposit. Step two is fabrication. In this step, the factory prepares all elements of the Minimax, at which point the buyer lays down another 30%. Step three is delivery. The Minimax is moved from the factory to your site and you lay down another 20%. That's 90% so far. Step four is assembly and install, and it's noted that they ensure that the install is stress and hassle free. Step five is final walkthrough and paperwork. Lay down the last 10%. One of the most exciting things about what we're looking at here is they've already delivered and set up one of these homes in the USA. So one, we know they're going to be available, and two, we can get an idea of what they're actually gonna look like. On the outside anyway, let's check this thing out. The first Minimax prefab home, their prototype, is located in the state of New York and can be rented on a nightly basis. The prototype is one of their coolest exteriors. The model is known as the L400. I've looked at a lot of prefab homes over the last couple years and can confirm I haven't seen a model like this one. It looks like two modules that were set together, but again, that's not how the L400 was set up. It's panelized. The first thing that stands out for me is the black metal siding with wood accents. Not exactly breaking news that I'm a fan of that look, but I am. Beyond that, the overall design of this unit is definitely unique. The entrance is set back and the way the roof is designed, it forms a covered porch, which is nice to have in pretty much any climate. Snow, rain, sun, you name it. I think everyone can benefit from a covered porch. The total footprint of the L400, as the name suggests, is 400 square feet. However, there is a loft that adds another 75 above the bathroom that can be used for another place to sleep, storage, or whatever else you can think of for 
for 75 square feet. The description for this unit says, truly meant to function as a tiny home with all the necessities and easy to adapt to other uses. The loft space allows for sleeping for up to four guests or to maximize the living space below. The way they have this plan set up, the entrance is into the bedroom. Not something you see every day, but it's right beside the bedroom door, so it's almost like entering into the living space. I'm interested to hear people's thoughts on entering into the bedroom, yay or nay. Heading out into the main space of the home, they've got a pantry followed by the rest of the kitchen and then the remainder of the room is the living space. They've got windows on either side of the living room with the biggest out to the patio and then the end wall is solid, making it the obvious choice for TV placement. I understand that TV placement isn't a concern for everyone, but it is a concern for a lot of people, so it's worth mentioning. All right. The bathroom is accessed through the bedroom and it has all the items that one would expect to find in a bathroom. The loft is also accessed from the bedroom with a set of steps that pull out from the wall. So a lot of the plan revolves around access from the bedroom. As I mentioned, they've got a fully finished unit set up in New York and this is something you've got to see to believe. Brace yourself. This specific L400 is set up as a short term rental on Airbnb called the Colorful Cabin in the Woods and colorful it is. This likely wouldn't have been my first choice for interior decor, but does give an idea on how it could be finished if you want to finish it yourself and make a bit of a statement. This particular unit has been changed from the original floor plan with multiple different entrances and different use of space within the home. And of course, there is something about the decor that looks different. I, I can't put my finger on it. The other model they're gonna be running a series of 10 on is the half. Have a look at this thing. It's half of an A-frame, hence the name. Get it? It's described as an ideal short-term rental unit, getaway cabin, or other accessory use. The half has a footprint of 360 square feet with a 50 square foot loft, so a little smaller than the L400. They describe it as a reinterpretation of the A-frame typology at half the size and resulting in a unique special condition, ideal for use as a short-term rental space, especially made for mountainous regions. The way they have this plan set up, the entrance is on the front into the kitchen. It wraps around by the bathroom. Then they have the living space on the other end. The main the main floor of the home has dimensions of 16 by 24 foot 4, so they've packed a lot into a small space. The 50 square foot loft is accessed from the living room side, is pretty much just space for a bed, and is open to below on either side. Having the loft in the middle means above the living room and kitchen is open to below, and a high ceiling height is going to make the unit feel more spacious. It's a cool design, definitely leaning towards hospitality because it's got that bit of wow factor that would be fun to stay in on a weekend getaway. Before I wrap this thing up, I am going to get into their price. Pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The L400 is currently listed at $85,500 and the half is listed at $76,800. They've listed exactly what's included in that price on their website, so anyone who wants to dig a little deeper can definitely check that out. It's probably easier to note what isn't included in their pricing because it's a much shorter list. The price doesn't include permitting costs, a licensed professional slash soft costs, landscaping, infrastructure, foundation and other site prep, interior finishes, outdoor deck finishes, assembly and installation, or transportation from port to site. Minimax is a new provider located on the east coast with a line of panelized prefab homes that are available now. They've got a panelized system that allows buyers to take on a DIY project or have it built out by a contractor. I like the look of what they got going on and am interested to see one with a more standard interior, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.